Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush Sajdeva and thank you very much for joining me again. So this video is all about 10 weeks of cloud of challenge. If you haven't heard about it, if you haven't seen my LinkedIn post or my Twitter thread, do not worry about it. I'll bring you up to the speed with this video. What are we going to talk about? So this is a challenge that we have just started in our Discord community and we wanted it to be widespread. In this challenge, as it says, we will be building cloud and DevOps project together. So for the next 10 weeks, we'll be building one project per week. I will be uh, providing you the instructions and the guidelines about the challenge on every Saturday. And throughout the week, we're going to work together as a community. We will be submitting the projects individually, but if we have any roadblocks, any guidance or assistance is needed, we have our Discord community to help each other. So what are the benefits of doing this? So you will get a lot of self-learning and development, and you will get hands-on experience in building real-time projects. These projects will be reviewed by industry experts from our community. So you will get the best practices and the authentic feedback that you were looking for. And you will be able to justify this uh, in your resume and your social media GitHub profile or your blog such as Medium or Dev.to. And you will get some visibility in the eyes of recruiters and hiring managers looking for prospect candidates. Let's have a look at the steps to participate. Feel free to register the challenge using the link in the description section. Then based on the challenge description, I'll provide you the first week of challenge after this slide. Based on that, you need to build an end-to-end -end project and publish it on blogs and or GitHub repo. So you can definitely create a blog, but some challenges might have some, uh, let's say some pipeline code or some Terraform code. So you definitely need a public GitHub repository for that. So feel free to use that. Then make sure to complete the submission before Thursday end of the day so that we can review it on Friday before our next session on Saturday and promote your blogs, GitHub on LinkedIn and Twitter or Twitter. Mention me and the 10 weeks of cloud ops challenge hashtag. Uh, please make sure that submissions must be done individually and on a public GitHub repo so that we can review it. We can provide some feedback on that. You will be reviewed on a few factors such as if you have used all the best practices, if you have completed all the steps, if you are a project is working fine end to end. And if you have helped other community members as well in our discord server, so make sure to, to utilize this learning opportunity and teamwork as much as possible and wait for the best part. Yes, there will be some cool gifts for the winners. We haven't yet decided how many winners will be there, but there'll be definitely some top winners that we will be choosing at the end of uh, this challenge. Let's move on to the next slide and see the details of challenge one. All right, so week one challenge is a simple website hosting. So you need to host a static website on either AWS or Azure or GCP and implement CI CD. So you can use any CI CD tool that you are comfortable with or that you are willing to learn. Maybe pick Jenkins or uh, GitHub Actions or Azure DevOps, anything that you would like to learn or that you have already learned. Now, if you are choosing AWS, then you can use the services such as S3, CloudFront, and Route 53 for this project. If you have chosen Azure, then you can use Azure Storage, Azure CDN, and Azure DNS. If GCP, feel free to use Cloud Storage, Load Balancer, Cloud CDN, etc. If you already have a DNS service that you are using or you are comfortable with, such as Cloudflare, so feel free to use that instead of these cloud native DNS services. Right. And deliverables would be an architectural diagram. Please do not use tools such as Figma or Canva for architectural diagram. These are definitely the amazing tools and it really looks good. But when it comes to creating the architectural diagram in, in the cloud, then uh, the preferred way is to use the industry standards tools such as Draw.io or Lucidchart. Lucidchart is, I guess, paid. So Feel free to use draw.io. It, it also has a desktop application that you can install. Make sure to create a blog for the steps and a GitHub readme file. You can upload your code if there is because it involves CI CD. So it will have a pipeline code in your 
preferred tool that you have chosen. So make sure to add all the steps in that readme file or the GitHub blog and to upload the code as well in the GitHub repo and make sure that GitHub repo is public repo so that we can review it and also include a screen recording or the URL of your live website so that we can review it. You just create the blog and uh, your public GitHub repo and create a LinkedIn post using that or a Twitter thread. Anything should be fine. Just make sure to mention me and the hashtag uh, 10 weeks of cloud ops challenge so that we are aware of the submission and pretty much that's it. These are some of the useful documentation that you can use. First two URLs are if you are using AWS, then Azure, then GCP, feel free to use that. Again, the links will be in the description section. So do not worry about that. And basically that's it. So we started this challenge on Saturday and I'm recording this video on Sunday and within just one last day, we already have more than 200 registrations so far. So people have been showing a great interest in that and thank you very much for that. Thank you so much for participating so eagerly in this challenge. And I cannot promise you that you can get a job after completing this challenge. But the thing that I can promise you is you will definitely be one step closer to your next career move or your achieving your goals. And with that being said, uh, let me just conclude this video and feel free to join our Discord community and follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Consider subscribing my YouTube channel if you haven't done so far and if you think uh, it has some valuable content. I'll see you soon with the next challenge on Saturday in our Discord community. And also I'll publish a video for the same. So thank you so much for watching. I'll wait for your submissions.